In Tableau 2020.2, Tableau have added the ability to use data sources built with a new data model inside of Ask Data. Okay, so you get all the functionality that you'd expect. I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch. So first I'm gonna to connect to an Excel file. I'm gonna use the Superstore sales files that comes inside of your Tableau repository for data sources when you install Tableau. Okay, that's normally in your documents folder, my Tableau repository, data sources. Then you can see here 2020.2 and then the version, okay? So that's pretty much how you get to that file. Now, when I open this, in the older versions of Tableau, of course, I drag in orders like I just did. Uh, but then what I'd normally do is do a left join on returns based on order ID. Now, if I drag that now, you'll see I'm using the data model. You can see the noodle that it's affectionately termed as. Uh, if I drop that into the view, Tableau actually makes a suggestion here that order ID on orders equates to the return returns on, um, recreates the order ID in the returns table. Okay, uh, there's a couple of performance options, but uh, I, I don't really need to change this because this is, this is fine. I don't need to give it more information. And now I have that relationship. If I click on orders, I can see that table. Click on returns, I can see that table. There's no join being done here. It's a single connection to two uh, logical sort of tables but it's creating some a new sort of connection as it were. And so I just have this one connection, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do is take an extract of this data just to sort of uh, optimize it. And I'm just gonna leave it here actually. I'll call this um, beta just so that I don't confuse my other data sources. And I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this data up to Tableau Server. The reason I took an extract is because I actually wanted to optimize the file a little bit before I publish it up. And then the thing I want to publish it to is actually just the 2020.2 release folder, okay? And I'm gonna call this ask data version, okay? So what we should be able to see is the same sort of lines that you get in the data model signaling the difference between dimensions and measures. So let me go ahead and publish that up now uh, so that we get that up to Tableau Server. And when that's finished, it automatically opens up Tableau Server. So here we are with our data source, okay? And not only that, we're already in Ask Data. And just for you know good measure, you can now see that we've got our two tables here, returns uh, with dimensions and measures there. And you've got orders here at the top with dimensions and measures. And so you can ask, uh, you know, the same old questions. Uh, it's like how many orders uh, with returns. Let's just see what it does with that. Okay, let's uh, let's just see. Um, you see, count distinctive orders count and count distinctive returns count. It's struggling a little bit um, to sort of make that relationship of, of how they works. But this is where you can kind of play with, um, uh, you know, uh, some sort of uh, way of wording the question. I think it's actually got this correct here. So count of orders uh, as a count by count of order ID return. So let's just see what this does. It might not be correct, but we can of course adjust this if it's not correct. Um, it's it's sort of difficult to sort of take that uh, sort of way of thinking um, and, and sort of adapt it very quickly. And I think this is working, but it's not built the view that I would have expected it to build. I, I sort of wanted something a little bit more intelligent than this. So you can see the count of orders and you can see these are return orders. And so these items here, don't have a return, um, right? So if we could just get rid of that, then these are your orders with return. So it kind of built the right thing, but I had to guide it down that one more step just to get the view that I wanted to see, okay? That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, Ask Data now supports the new data model. So by all means, start using it, start publishing up data sources and get involved. Um, I'm Tim. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've got any feedback on this video, uh, please get in touch in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.